Those, we're going to head back to the mid pen Keystone. Yeah, that's right. McDevitt, like we just saw the leader in the clubhouse, as we mentioned at the top of the show. But Hershey needing a win at home against the Crusaders to keep pace with Cedar Cliff. That'd be a tall task against undefeated McDevitt. The Crusaders missing one of their top playmakers in Rico Scott, but you wouldn't even notice with this offense. Stone Saunders to Chase Regan. Stays on his feet, off the missed tackle. He's got wheels few can hang with. Regan sprints for the 44-yard score. McDevitt takes a 7-0 lead quickly. Saunders and Regan hook up again quickly in the first quarter. Saunders over the middle to Regan from five yards out, 14-0 McDevitt. The Crusaders make plays on defense too. Maurice Barnes pouncing on the pass left out there over the middle. He gives the ball back to the offense and they turn around and give it back to him. Barnes from a few yards out punches it in early in the second quarter. 21-0 McDevitt and they're humming along. They find the end zone again before halftime. Back in the red zone, Stone Saunders finds Jonte Quick in the flat. He strolls into the end zone. The Crusaders up 28-0 at the half. They roll past Hershey, scoring 42 before the Trojans can answer. They win 42 to 7 to remain undefeated atop the mid pen Keystone division. Now we're going to welcome in defending state champion head coach Jeff Wechter. Coach, first off, congratulations on the win. And I just want to know, I mean, what's it like to have this kind of embarrassment of riches when you don't have Rico Scott tonight and this offense still just hums right along? I mean, you know, we've, we've got a lot of good depth, uh, obviously. Uh, Stone and you know freshman Jonte Cook step uh, Jonte Quick steps in and gets um, two touchdown receptions and uh, you know so our guys did a good job. Coach, I want to jump in here for a second. Your team clearly undefeated still a contender again uh, coming off last year's state championship performance the question mark coming into the season was this offensive line they were so young so new what have you seen through from them through seven weeks they've grown so much i mean those first three games were were really tough games against three really good uh competition um you know and they got the kitchen sink thrown at them um you know, Mount St. Joseph's had two Division One defensive ends. Uh, DePaul Catholic had a number of Division One kids, and LaSalle College is a great team. So uh, they really got a baptism by fire, and, and they've held up. Uh, you know, we thought, you know, I thought going into the season we could possibly be 0-3, and, and, you know, to come out 3-0, and and, and the offensive line is a big part of that. Coach, I think one thing that uh, has impressed people time and time again, obviously, is your quarterback, Stone Saunders. He's in the history books with you guys, but is there something he's doing week to week that maybe continually impresses you? Or maybe on the other hand, do you feel like you have to keep getting on him to know like, hey, listen, as good as you think you are, you can be better? And just his, his knowledge of the game and, and seeing things, um, you know, he's to the point now that, you know, when I go over, you know, you know, he did this for the first time yesterday. You know, he went up on the whiteboard. We meet every day. Uh, during a study hall, and he went up to the whiteboard and showed me what he liked, and, and that's just a growth by him. Um, but yeah, there, there's some things that we still, you know, we'll watch the film on Monday, and you know, of course, I'll find a few things that you know he needs to get a little bit better at. Yeah, coach, you're always good at that. Hey, you have three more weeks before a playoff run can begin. How do you keep your team focused headed into that part of the season? We know this is kind of crunch time for you guys. We have really good leadership. Uh, the team is really a tight knit group, and you know, our our leadership is really you know making sure that we don't get sloppy in practice. I mean, we're still working hard, um, you know, and and I don't think that's going to be a problem for us. All right, thank you, Coach, for the time. Enjoy the evening, and uh, we'll see you back here in Week Eight. Jared, Coach has another contender on his hands.